Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be continuing with this page from Erie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to work on these sections here. So what I was thinking is if I can make the background look like it's still there. So I'll go ahead and zoom you in and we'll get started. Okay, so for this lower bit here, I'm gonna make it look like the wall continues along. So I'm gonna go in with warm gray light, 120. So this is the color that we used, the lightest color for the wall. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of outline where the wall would go to. So just sort of follow the line from the wall. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in Next, take in Davy's Grey 067. This is the colour that we use to do a bit of shading on here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of shading just along this side here. And then just lift the pressure as you come over. Next, take in Sap Green 113. We're going to go ahead and add some moss. So as you can see, I added some moss here. So I'm just going to go ahead and lightly cover all of this with this colour, just so it gives it like a little tint of moss all the way over. Then going back in with Warm Grey Light 120, I'm just going to go ahead and go over all of this. So next we're going to work on this bit of grass here where it would continue through. So I've chosen um, Cadmium Green Pale 112. So this is the lighter colour that we used here right at the edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and just sort of do a little bit of an edge here where the grass would continue. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use light pressure to fill this in completely. And I think I'll take it down to about here so it's not like a straight line. Then going back in with Sap Green 113. This is the colour that we used right underneath the trees, so it's the darker colour. So I'm going to go ahead and start to darken this up. So we'll just go right up to these little beads. And I'm just using normal pressure here. And then I'm just going to start to lift the pressure as we get closer to the edge. Okay, and then the rest of this section would be filled with the water. So I'm gonna go ahead with Cobalt Turquoise 048. This is the lightest shade that we used for the water. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a light base coat in here. So I'm gonna take it right up to this green. And then just use light pressure to go ahead and fill this in. Next, going in with Cobalt Turquoise Green 101, we're going to start to add some shadows to this water. So I'm going to start by sort of darkening up here along the water's edge. And just sort of lift the pressure as you come away just to blend this out a little bit easier. We'll go ahead and darken up all this side edge here.
Then we're going to go back in with our lightest shade, which is Cobalt Turquoise 04A. And we're going to go ahead and fill this in. So I'm just going to use normal pressure here and just fill this in completely. Next, going in with our Posca pen, we're just going to go ahead and carry on this white line of where the water ends. So I'm just going to go ahead and start from where we left off. And then just sort of go over the edges here, just to make it look like the water is still continuing all the way through. Okay, so that's that piece done. So we'll move on to this top one. Okay, so first going in with Sky Blue 046. We're going to continue where the sky was and um, what I'm going to do because I'm going to do like the trees behind here as well. So I'm going to just do really light pressure and just sort of do a really squiggly line so that we can then fill that in with the trees after. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling this in from the top here. So I'll go all the way around these little beads. And you want it to be quite dark at the top, so just use normal pressure here. So I'm still just using normal pressure and I'm just going to fill this bit in completely. So next going in with Cadium Green 062, I'm going to go ahead and start filling in the tops of these trees because that would be the lighter part. So I'm just going to go ahead and start going right up to the blue with this green colour. And I'm just using normal pressure for this. And I'm just going to start to lift the pressure as it comes down. Next, going in with Hooker's Green 054, we're going to go ahead and start darkening up this bottom section. So I'm going to carry on along here. And then I'm just going to start to lift the pressure here so that we can blend this together with a different color a bit more easily. Next I'm going to go in with Castle Green 058 and I'm going to go ahead and add this colour here over the top of this darker colour. Okay we're going to swap to Permanent Green 110. I think this was the colour that we used. Yeah, that looks more like it. So I'm going to carry on with this colour. And again, I'll just go back over the darker green and just start to bring this colour up the trees. So I'm just using normal pressure here.
Okay, and now I'm going to start to lift the pressure as we come up towards the top. So I'm not going to add as much pressure because I want this top bit to still be the lighter colour that we put down first. So next, going back in with 0.62, I'm going to go ahead and go over this bit here and try and get rid of this sort of harsh line. So I'm just using normal pressure here, just blending this colour over that. Mix it all together. I'm just going to go over this top bit here as well and just mix that down. So I'm going to go back in with permanent green, 110, and I'm going to go back over this bit because I think it's a bit too dark. Might not be able to save it now. Okay guys, so that's how that side's looking at the moment. So we're going to move on and go over to this side. So I'll go ahead and zoom you in. So going back in with sky blue, 046, we're going to start by um, adding the sky into this piece again. So these trees on this side are a bit littler, so I think we'll take the sky from about here and again we'll just do the same, just do sort of like a random line all the way through to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this bit in just using normal pressure. Okay, and then going in with cadmium green, 062. So this is the lighter colour that we used for these little trees. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding this colour in here. I'm just using light pressure at the moment. So the trees sort of finish about here. So we'll do a diagonal line down to there and then go fill in the rest of this just using light pressure again. Just bring this down a little bit more level. Then going in with cadmium green pale 112. So this is the lighter colour that we used for the grass. I'm going to go ahead and add this colour in so that we've got our grass verge there. Then using sap green 113, I'm going to go ahead and start darkening up these bottom edges and I'm just sort of doing it in like a half circle motion so it looks like the bottoms of the trees are still there. Then going in with Hooker's Green, 054, we're going to go ahead and darken up the bottoms of what would be the trees. So again, I'm going to sort of follow this line. And I'm just going to sort of make out the bottoms of the trees here. Then I'm going to go ahead and just start to darken this up along the bottom edge. So I'm just using normal pressure here and just filling this in. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is sort of make out some trees. So I'm going to use Hooker's Green still. And I'm just going to sort of lightly 
make out like a little tree shape. We'll do the same over here. So we've just got like two squiggly lines. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and darken up where we've put this line just so that it gives us a little bit of definition between the trees. So I'll go ahead and just lift the pressure to start to blend that out. Then going back in with Cadmium Green 062, which was our lighter colour, I'm going to go ahead and go over there. So I'm just using normal pressure here, just filling this in. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with Hooker's Green and I'm just going to start to blend out where we've left all the darker colour just to make sure that there's no sort of harsh lines. So I'm just using lighter pressure here and just sort of re-going over where we've added all the Hooker's Green. And then this section down here, I'm just going to go over again because I think this would be a little bit darker. So just darken that bit up a little bit. And I'll do the same up here along this edge. Then going back in with our Posca pen, we're going to go ahead and carry on the waterline. So I'm just going to start it from there and just kind of do a bit of a wiggly line just join it to the edge there so it looks like the water goes all the way up and then I'm going to go in with cool grey 065 and I'm just going to go ahead and go around the bottoms of the trees So that's how it's looking so far you guys so we've got one left so this one here so i'll zoom you in and we'll get this one done okay so for this one we're going to have a little bit of the edge of the fruit bowl in there so we're going to go in with mint green light 108 so this is the lightest shade that we used for the fruit bowl and i'm just going to ever so slightly just take this color into here because I just want it to look like it's finished. And then this sort of curves up and round. So I'll just take it to level with the top there and then just fill it into under that leaf. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use this color, but with light pressure, just to fill in a little bit more color. And then going in with Titanium White 072, we're just gonna go ahead and blend this white bit in the middle. Then using Mint Green 107, which is what we used for the darker colours, I'm going to go ahead and darken this up so that this edge matches here. And I'll do the same down here so that we've got a bit more shadow. And I think we'll just take it all the way up the edge. Okay, so next going in with Warm Grey Light 120, we're going to go ahead and finish off this wall. So again, I'm just going to follow the line of the wall 
all the way through to the other side. And I'll do the same for the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a base coat on this. So just fill this in with light pressure. Next, going in with Davies Grey 067, we're gonna add some shade to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and shade along the top line just to make that a little bit more prominent. We'll go ahead and do the bottom line as well. And this bit here was done with this color, so we'll go ahead and fill this in. So that it matches. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of lighter pressure here just to bring this colour down and we'll go ahead and darken up this edge. Then going back in with Sap Green 013 which was our mossy colour, we're going to go ahead and continue the moss that we did here. So I'm just using light pressure for this and then I'm going to bring this all the way around these leaves. Then I'm going to go back in with Warm Grey Light 120 and just go ahead and blend this all together. So I'm just using normal pressure here and just blending everything together. So next taking Cool Grey 065, this is the colour that we added the shade in with this bit. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the line across the top and just darken that up. And I'll go ahead and darken up this edge here and all along the bottom. And then I'm just going to use this to add the little lines. So that it looks the same. Okay, and then for this little bit down here, this would be all the dark water. So for that, I'm going to go in with Teal Green Light 049. And we're gonna go ahead and fill this in completely. So I'll just take it straight up to the edges and then just go ahead and fill that in. Okay, and then the rest of this space here is gonna be water. So we're gonna go ahead and use Cobalt Turquoise 048 and do a light base coat on all of this. So again, I'll just use light pressure and just get the colour down. Next, going in with Cobalt Turquoise Green 101, we're going to start to add some shadows to this. So I'm going to go ahead and darken up this top edge here. And all the way down this edge. I'm going to darken up along this bottom line here and here where the fruit bowl would be casting a bit of a shadow we'll go ahead and darken that up as well. And we'll do some darker colour here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start to lift the pressure so that we can blend this out a little bit easier. And then I'm going to go back in with our lightest shade, which is Cobalt Turquoise 048. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this all in. So I'm just going to use normal pressure now and get this filled in completely. Okay. 
and then going back in with teal green light 049 this is our darkest shade I'm just going to go ahead and just darken this little bit up down here because I want this to be a bit darker so I'll just take it all the way along the edge and then just sort of lift the pressure to blend that out I'm going to go ahead and do the same here and I think we'll add some more darker colour under here as well So I'm going to go back in with our Posca pen and I'm just going to add some little water details behind here. So I'm just going to do some little sort of lines like we did for the water just to make it look like the water's still continuing under there. And we'll do the same for this side. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and just add some lines into this water. And I think we'll do the same for these gaps under here as well. So I'm just going to randomly add a little bit of water lines in here. Nothing too big. So next I'm going to go back in with Cool Grey 065 and I'm just going to go ahead and add in the lines here just to sort of finish this off. So just sort of follow the lines round. Okay, so next going in with Oxide of Chrome 063, we're going to go ahead and start filling in these tiny little leaves. Now this is the same colour that we used for these ones up here, so I thought we'd do it all the way down so that it matches. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all these in, and I'm just going to use normal pressure for this and just fill them in completely. We'll go ahead and do the same for the other side. Next I'm going to go back in with the Posca pen and I'm just going to add a few extra little stars over here where we've added the blue just so that it matches the rest of the sky. Okay guys and I'm going to leave it here for this video. Um, so next time when we come back, all we've got to do is the cat and then this little border. So the next video should be the last one in the series for this page. So I hope you're enjoying it so far and I'll see you next Wednesday.